Hello, my name is Natalie. Welcome to my channel Diamond Painting by Nat. This is a very short video. I just wanted to show you how I framed this diamond painting of the angel that I bit stitched, I guess, a year, no, even two years ago, uh, or maybe a year ago, I don't remember. <laughs> um, this angel was purchased from AliExpress. Um, again a year ago and I was bead stitching it while I was on the business trip in uh, South Carolina and I really enjoyed diamond painting it uh, although it was a partial diamond painting which I um, don't really like I prefer a full one but I was amazed at the quality of the drills better say crystals because this is these are round crystals that I used in this diamond painting. Um, I was amazed at how sparkly they were and are now even uh, while uh, the angel is behind the glass. And to tell you the truth, the um, sparkling, glowing in real life is way more vibrant than what you see now on your screens. Uh, but in any case, uh, I purchased the frame today in Michaels for $14. By the way, there is a promotion, buy one, get one free. So I didn't get the other one because of the same size, because I don't really have any diamond paintings. I prefer to have a 20% discount for this one. Not sure if I, um, were giving it in case I uh, got the second one for free. But in any case, this frame comes with matte. The size is uh, um, 10 by 13 inches without the frame. And that's the um, size that I actually needed. I needed 10 by 14, by the way. And guess what? I'm, I'm pretty sure that the frame is correct, that the frame size is correct. So I was going to take the mat out and just um, frame the angel without the mat. But apparently uh, the size is wrong. Um, the size of the kit, I mean. The angel was supposed to be 25 by 35 uh, centimeters, which is 10 by 14 inches. Even bigger than that. Yet... It turned out to be smaller, even smaller than 10 by 13 inches. Most likely it's 10 by, I don't know, 12 inches maybe. Um, so I had, I already cut it. I was pretty sure that I had uh, to cut more rows uh, from the design itself because it's supposed to be bigger than the frame. And it turned out to be smaller. I mean, the design the image turned out to be smaller. So those AliExpress sellers, you need to, and I need to double check the size. I need to measure the size. Um, it is not accurate uh, when it comes to um, their size and other specifications on the website. Do not trust them. So, but in any case, I like how it uh, looks framed. It's a really nice uh, frame. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's plastic, but looks like wood. And I'm going to give it away to my colleague's daughter who is going through a very hard time. She has depression. Uh, so I hope this angel will help her um, mentally, spiritually, and maybe even on the physical level when looking at it. Look, Again, I'm looking at the uh, design, oh my god, it sparkles so much more than what you see. <laughs> so hopefully it will help her as well as soon as she looks at the sparkle. Um, it will give her joy. And um, I'm, just very quickly, I'm still working on my beaded cross stitch kit. This is a custom. I'm not even done with the first row, how I count. There are like uh, five pages of the black and white pattern in each row. There are four rows. Uh, I completed only four pages. I have the fifth one left here, and then I will be done with the first row. So these are actually the trees. As soon as I am uh, done with the first row, of course, I will record the video review here like this. And that's what I did. Um, I, I, I like it. I enjoy it very much. And I have a few kits uh, 
beaded cross stitch kits and diamond painting kits coming and soon I will record an unboxing video. I hope you are going to like it. Special shaped ones and I also ordered a diamond painting custom of this design. So then once they complete it, we'll be able to compare the um, equal sized designs in different techniques. Beaded cross stitch kit and diamond painting. This is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.